Hey folks, just another New Hampshire update. Use of deadly force debated. Expansion called for. Uh, bills would apply it outside the castle. People should be able to stand their ground when threatened and legally use deadly force advocates for uh, changing the state's self-defense status statute say. Uh, advocates for three bills that would change the law said Thursday the Castle Doctrine, which allows people to defend themselves in their homes, should be extended to any public place. My life is not is not worth less if I am in a car or in a Shaw's parking lot than it is in my home. Ralph DiMecchio of uh, Gun Owners of New Hampshire said at a criminal House Criminal Justice and Public uh, Protection Committee public hearing. If you have a right, you have it everywhere. Under current law, a person should first try to retreat from a threat before using deadly force. Okay. All three bills, HB 207, HB 210, and HB 567, would eliminate that requirement. HB 210 and HB 567 would give criminal and civil immunity to any person who legally uses deadly force. And HB 567 would create the presumption that when a person uses deadly force to protect themselves, an attack an, an attacker yeah, intended to cause harm. House Republican leader D.J. Betancourt said, House leadership believes New Hampshire citizens have the right to defend themselves when they are, th when they are threatened. The Castle Doctrine defends what that right. We look forward to hearing the committee's deliberations and recommendations on the most appropriate and responsible way to extend and protect this important right. The New Hampshire Association of Police Chiefs the Attorney General's Office and the New Hampshire Civil Liberties Union opposed it, of course, saying that the current law works fine. Well, no, not really. Historically, this committee's first question is, what problem is this bill trying to address? <laughs> uh, so, uh, Associate Attorney General Ann Rice. If you apply that question to these three bills, there is no problem that needs fixing. Okay. She said New Hampshire has a very strong self defense law that carefully balances a person's right to use deadly force against the sanctity of another's life. She said outside a home or property, people have a right to use deadly force if a person is about to use deadly force against them or another person, if a person is likely to use force while committing another crime, or if a person is about to commit a kidnapping or se sexual offense. Rice said people are not required to flee if they are unable to. The assumption is the person acted lawfully. This is not a gun issue. You have a right to bear arms and you have a right to use it in self-defense. The current law works really well, Rice told committee members, urging them to recommend killing the three bills. Representative Lito uh, Pepino, Republican Manchester, the prime sponsor of HB 210, agreed the bill is not a gun bill, noting in his city criminals have used uh, baseball bats and knives as deadly weapons. If something happens and you decide you're in trouble, you have a split second to decide whether to use deadly force or not, Pepino said. If you have the right, you're fine. If not, you can find yourself in jail. He and others noted a similar bill passed uh, the legislature in 2006, but was vetoed by uh, Governor John Lynch. Hello, Johnny, who said it would mean blood in the streets. The prime 
sponsor of uh, HB 567, Representative Paul Mursky, uh, Republican Enfield, said law enforcement and prosecutors always pr uh, predict dire consequences about stand your ground laws. Yet in states that have them, such as Florida, crime has gone down. It is absolutely critical this law pass this session. No individual anywhere should be put in a position by state law that they somehow have to demonstrate they attempted to flee before defending yourself. Well done. Well done. We're getting there. Peace out.